I bought this electric motorcycle a few weeks ago and everything went fairly smooth. The only problem in the whole purchasing process was that I, I still had questions about how the whole thing worked. So let's talk about how to charge a zero motorcycle. All zero brand motorcycles come with an IEC power cord that lets you plug it into the wall. This is the same cord that you plug into most desktop computers. You just plug one end into the front of the bike and the other into an outlet. This is pretty convenient, but there's one problem. It takes a long time to charge. This Zero FX motorcycle is at 35%, and the estimated time for a full charge says six hours and 45 minutes. If the battery were completely dead, it would take about eight hours to charge. I don't even sleep that long. Maybe an eight hour charge time fits into your life schedule, but I need something faster. This is a quick charger. Zero sells this as an option to speed up charging times. In order to use this, you have to remove a screw and a plug from the rubber gasket protecting the electronics on the side. This gives you just enough clearance to expose the quick charger plug and connect the quick charger to it. Plugging in the quick charger by itself, though, won't start charging the bike. You have to plug in both the standard charger and the quick charger. These are supposed to be plugged into separate outlets that run on separate circuits because it draws a lot of power and can flip a circuit breaker. But sometimes it's not easy to find two outlets within range. So just plug them both in and hope for the best. If a circuit breaker pops, you can just reset it and find a different plug to try. Using the quick charger brings the 35% battery's estimated charge time to two hours and 15 minutes, way more acceptable. On this particular electric motorcycle, you can connect up to three quick chargers at the same time to get the time even lower, but I haven't tried that yet. 